For more videos visit for the sake of education dot com. Alright guys, let's do this a problem where they want you to find the resultant force and specify where it acts on the beam measured from A. So I like to put an X of the point that I'm calculating the moment on so I don't get confused. So we got two shapes over here. We got this triangle. And we got this rectangle. Now whenever you have a triangle, the force acts one third from the big H. So that would be one third of six, which would be two feet. So remember, this is one third of the long edge. That's where this resultant force would act. And let's call it F1. And this one would act right at half, would be F2, which would be at, if this is eight, this would be about four feet, let's say. Okay? So, from A, you know that F1 acts at 4 feet. Why? Because 6 minus 2 is 4. And F2 acts at 4 feet plus, actually 6 feet plus 4 feet, which would make it 8 feet. So, remember, this whole long thing is 8 feet. So now that we have our diagram more or less set up, let's find the forces. So you know that F1 is equal to 150 pounds per feet times the amount of feet, which is 6 feet, divided by 2 because it's a triangle. Whenever it's a triangle, to calculate this area, you got to divide by 2. So 150 uh, times 6 divided by 2 comes out to be 450 pounds and F2 is the area of the rectangle which is 150 times 8 which comes out to be 1200 pounds and they're applied at the points that I showed you so to find the resultant force all you gotta do is add the two forces and let's say going down is positive since they're both going down so F1 plus F2 is 1650 pounds. Now that you have the resultant force, let's calculate the moment at A. The moment at A is given by F1, let's say clockwise is positive. So F1 is turning this arm of four feet clockwise. So it's positive F1 times four. Plus, because this F2 is also turning this long lever arm clockwise, and this long lever arm has a length of 8 feet, so it's F2 times 8. So when you plug F1 and F2 into this formula, you get that the moments are equal to 13,800. Now, give me one second, I gotta think about something. This is 6 feet and this is 4 feet, so this is actually 10 feet. Sorry about the mistake. 10 feet. From here to here, there's 10 feet. That's more clear. So this is actually 10. So this comes out to be 13,800 pounds per foot or foot pounds. So now that you have the moment, you want to find where the resultant force is acting. You know that it's going to be acting to the right of A because the force acts clockwise so if it was to the left it would make it counterclockwise so the moment is equal to the resultant force times the distance so when you solve for D you get that the moment over the force is equal to the distance the moment is 13,800 foot pounds and the resultant force is 1650 which will make the distance 8.36 feet to the right of a final answer. So it acts 8.36 feet, the resultant force on an equivalent system. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.